Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden. He drove out the man, and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubim, and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. The Conclave Bible, Data Links. Earth 2060. A small group of colonists leaves the ravages of Earth for a distant planet orbiting Alpha Centauri's primary star. Their ship, the United Nations starship Unity, carries them on their journey to a new world and a new hope for humankind. Along the way, a reactor malfunction damages the Unity, precipitating a crisis among the ship's seven most powerful leaders. As they enter the Alpha Centauri system, the crew splits into seven distinct factions, divided not by nationality, but by ideology and their vision for the new world. After the ship breaks apart, the seven leaders guide their chosen crew down to the surface of planet, seeking their destiny beneath an alien sky. Welcome back, everybody. Evil Clown here in Alpha Centauri. This is a Sid Meier's game uh, developed by Firaxis uh, and Brian Reynolds on his series. Um, this was uh, originally they moved from Microprose over to Firaxis and started a new company. And uh, this was developed and released uh, in 1999. And here we are, just kind of going through uh, the various, there's seven uh, basic uh, so uh, ideology, final century. or races, if you will. Um, they're, they're all really separated by ideologies, because they're all uh, mankind. And so you have like a, a UN faction, a technical faction, uh, uh, a Spartan fashion, uh, faction, uh, you have the Sister Miriam, which are the Believers faction, and then a Hive Mind kind of thing. Uh, basically, you land on the planet Chiron in the Alpha Centauri system. This is uh, my first interaction because I started on a small world, random, and this is the University faction. Uh, these are more like the researchers and stuff like that. They're really strong technologically. Um, uh, my first goal is to wipe these guys out, uh, <laughs> since it is a small world that we're playing on. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, this was, like I said, developed in 1999 by Firaxis Games and uh, was released. Um, the righteous need uh, to do, 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 the uh, what was it? progress. After they left the uh, Microprose, uh, they joined Firaxis and EA released uh, Alpha Centauri and its expansion in '99. Uh, they were both ported to Mac and OS. Uh, it won many awards in 99. It was uh, a 92 out of 100 on Metacritic. And uh, basically, you know, going back, it, the whole plot line is uh, very similar to some, you know, Arthur Clarke, Kubrick, Hoover, 
or Herbert and Asimov kind of science fiction of the time. Um, it's got a lot of voice acting in it and a very in-depth technology tree. Um, one of the uh, best strategy games of the year that released for that year. Turn so complete. that said, let's uh, go ahead and get into the gameplay. As you kind of go around and explore, you see the various options. I'm doing the tutorial piece. I have it turned on right now, so a lot of pop-ups. One of the first goals is to basically, you know, develop a colony pod and settle multiple settlements, expand your territory, because, I mean, it is an empire builder. It's a 4X, so um, expand, exploit, uh, exterminate, and explore. Uh, and you can see here, like, the areas are kind of blacked out uh, in shadow, if you will, and you have to explore those areas to discover what's there. You have fauna on the planet uh, called mind worms, and they will attack you in random random bits, and they get stronger as the gameplay goes on. Insufficient uh, it's a planet-wide neural network of these mind worms. And it's it's a very in-depth sci-fi story. So if you like the sci-fi, if you like the voice acting, if you like 4X or strategy games, this is the game for you. This this won multiple wars. Uh, you can see here, I'm starting to kind of explore around a bit while I'm building my, uh, my um, uh, colony pod. So as I go, I'm just kind of developing things, you know, if you will. Uh, you know, different researchers you can turn on and turn off. You can do focus areas of all four or just one or, you know, several. Uh, I have three going right now because I'm not really about to conquer crap. <laughs> so I've got the, the main areas that I wanted to, you know, show off a bit. Uh, those three are my focus areas in this game. You can hurry production, if you will, uh, in this as well. Um, I want to get this pod done really quick and kind of expand my territory. Uh, I think I'm going to settle up here somewhere either by the water or by that lake uh, and try to develop, develop that area a little bit. Um, and you can build uh, various different um, uh, guys like rovers and, you know, scouts and terraformers and all kinds of things to develop the land around you to help Planet develop your, here, your own bases. So uh, that's kind of my goal of where I'm getting to once I get this uh, colony built. Uh, I want to you know, move the colony uh, pod up there and I'm going to develop that area as well and then expand on that at the same time. And then and this is the terraformers which I just got the technology for. So with these, you can basically ex uh, exploit the land around you and build solar panels and mines and forests for food and things like that. So as you develop the land around your bases, it basically is expands the growth of your bases and they get larger and more population, which allows you to support more and com you know combat units and things like that. So you want to constantly be expanding uh, your uh, your not only your tech tree, but your resources and you know your resources as far as gathering, but your resources as far as support can handle as well. So you can support more troops and expand your or you know to be ability to be able to conquer or explore new worlds, new areas. I'm kind of limited right now because of this university thing being right beside me <laughs> so as soon as i get uh this colony uh pod going i'm gonna move uh and then there's artifacts all over the planet you have to discover uh they give you certain technologies or things um sometimes it's a thing and sometimes it's a technology or a resource and you can go and pick those up and move them to your uh back to your outpost or whatever um Here's one of the mine worms right up there uh, beside me. This is one of the native, uh, I, I guess, fauna, if you will, uh, that, that uh, this world supports. And they will randomly attack your, your area, your systems, your, your outposts, units, whatever. Um, 
I've been in battles where these things have been kind of on my side because an enemy may be attacking me and it's attacking the enemy and I don't have to worry about that attack because they've wiped out that enemy and I can attack a different enemy and wear them down. So they, they do help sometimes and sometimes they're a hindrance. <laughs> it just depends on how you can counter the uh, planet-wide fauna. Uh, you can use both land and sea and air units uh, as you develop the technologies, uh, they expand as well. So, you know, it's, it's a lot, just a lot going on in this game. Uh, you have to manage uh, your energy and your plant and food, uh, all those resources, uh, just to make sure that you have enough to support your own units. So all these up at the top here in the middle, uh, that's kind of your plant energy and mineral um, supporting that area uh, in that city and then as you expand you can move to different different colonies and grow them as well and each may have their own bonuses you may have one that's close to the sea that gets great farming you may have one that's in the hills that gets great mining or there's a mining thing there um, it just depends you know on what you're what you're looking for what the the topography uh, is able to support um, and hopefully I could build I'm trying to move it up so I could build a build a um, an outpost up here I want to build there we go build the base and I, it's not letting me for some reason I, I think it's just because of this area it's not on a, a solid terrain and I got to move up one I think to where the scout is before it will expand in that area but I'm, I'm trying to, yeah, see, it's not, it, I tried to turn and it's still not letting me do it. But uh, this university guy is getting on my, my last nerve here and he's about ready to go. As soon as I can build up enough, uh, I, I think I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt for now, but it's, you know, see, he's already, he's already got a terraformer going. Uh, I'm getting to the point he's ticking me off, so I'm going to go and get rid of him soon because it looks like he's only got the one base it's and hardly any energy. troops. So, yeah, go after the researcher first and gain their, uh, their base. Each of the areas of our, the, the blocks displays a lot like civilization, and it was actually... <clears throat> Brian Reynolds who developed Civilization 2 and moved on to this and a lot of the things from Civ 2 came into this game so uh, there's a lot of back and forth and then Civ 3, 4, and 5 all borrowed pieces out of this Alpha Centauri uh, the later release of whatever Sid Meier's did wasn't a great showing for the, this you know sequel um but this game itself, it, it really does stand on its own. Uh, it was re-released uh, sometime in, in like 20, mid-20, 20, yeah, 2014, 2015, I don't know, somewhere in there, by God Games. Uh, okay. So good old games re-released this. Uh, I'm sure you can find it on Steam or GOG, really cheap. Um, it's, it's a great game. It stands the test of time. And if you get a chance to pick this up, I really do suggest it. I'm going to go ahead and expand it, and I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Throwback Thursday. Evil Clown out.
Jesus. Thank you. 
Scientific theories have judged that coherence belongs to our natural
clown out of here for the night folk i hope you enjoyed this episode of throwback thursday in alpha centauri night y'all